Ladies and gentlemen, not long ago, Tucker Carlson had the number one raid show in the country. Okay, he's only received negative media support, virtually 24-7 negative media support. Unlike people in Hollywood, actresses, actors, newscasters for major um, news uh, corporations, they get publicity, they pay publicists hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars a year for positive coverage. They want to win awards. They want good publicity. Same thing with uh, politicians. If you're a Democrat, you can get a book deal in two seconds. You'll get positive coverage. If you're a Republican, only negative coverage. If you're Trump, they will have devoted their soul to taking you down, distorting your words, um, doing every writing everything possible every single day for seven years plus now to try to disparage and demean and denigrate you. So the fact that Tucker Carlson and that Donald Trump are so popular, Trump is defeating Biden after having been, he's defeating Biden in polls after having been indicted four times. Tucker Carlson had the highest rate show for years, okay, up until Fox News or Fox Corporation um, showed, you know, zero courage or integrity and, and let him go. But you have to ask yourself, it would be an amazing, you you have to say it would be amazing if Tucker Carlson became um, Trump's vice president. And if he did become, I think that Trump is seriously considering Tucker Carlson as a vice president. Trump says he considered Tucker Carlson as running mate. You need somebody as a running mate with Trump that especially in 24, that boosts his prestige or, I should say, his popularity among half the country, okay? Trump got almost half the electorate, and that's, again, with 24-7 negative media coverage, okay? You have to, like, look at things from an aggregate or bird's-eye perspective. That's why you watch this channel. Hit subscribe, by the way, to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the segment I did on Matt Gates prior to this one. And be here tomorrow morning. I will have another segment tomorrow morning on this channel. I'll try to do three to four a day, including live streams later this month for sure. But he picks Tucker Carlson. Not only does do his poll numbers continue to go up, but it's a ticket that I don't think it's 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 beatable. And the reason is that they don't need media. The good thing about Trump and Tucker, and other politicians like Matt Gates, they don't need media support. You have to ask yourself, why is Trump, and like I said, hit subscribe to this channel to read my writing on The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist. Go to hagoodman.com. The super thanks is below. Uh, my Patreon is below. But why is Trump above mashed potato brains in the polls, having been indicted four times, and receiving only negative media coverage. And yet he's still defeating the Democrat that's being propped up. 50 intelligence officials had to come out of the woodwork and lie through their teeth saying, well, you know what? Um, Hunter's laptop is um, a campaign by the Kremlin, yet again, to inform you of how corrupt and criminal certain Democrats are. Why is it that every time Democrats are accused of crimes, it's an attempt by another country to inform you? I mean, have you ever heard of something so stupid? But Close to half the country, or I should say a certain part of the country, believes that. But he gets Tucker Carlson, he picks Tucker Carlson Carlson as running mate. I think that is an amazing thing, in large part because you have somebody who understands the corruption on the other side. You have somebody who's not a lifelong politician. Tucker is not a lifelong politician, He understands that Hunter and Joe almost certainly um, engaged in graft and bribery. When you have congressmen stating, well, they did nothing wrong, people are giving money to Hunter because they want access to Joe. This is not rocket science. That's why you had a uranium deal where people gave millions, people who were essentially working for the Kremlin, gave millions to the foundation, and then what happened? 
under President Obama's administration, a very good, uh, uh, what, almost all the, let's say, what was it, a high percentage, a an egregious percentage of U.S. uranium capacity was sold essentially to the Kremlin, and yet not a word. But the biggest issue is Trump and uh, bots on Twitter. When Clinton's own campaign, one of the people related to to her campaign, actually purchased bots to defend her from people online. I don't have Twitter, I don't have Facebook, I don't have Instagram, I don't have anything other than my YouTube channels. By the way, I will be building H.A. Goodman's other channel back, so definitely subscribe there as well. That's on the homepage of this channel. But Tucker Carlson knows the corruption. He understands that laptop um, has a lot of evidence in terms uh, pertaining to possible graft, bribery, corruption, um, pay-to-play schemes within the Democratic Party. He also understands media manipulation. I think that Trump needs somebody who understands that media is essentially a public relations firm for the Democratic Party. So I, I think that he has two choices. Trump can get a politician, and the politician can then, um, you know, fall into a trap or get the negative media coverage that anyone Trump picks will get, which will then weigh down the campaign, or he can pick somebody like Tucker. I think Tucker Carlson would be a fantastic pick. I think, actually, if you ask me, JFK Jr. also, but I don't think he'll be Trump's VP. The reason I say this is because JFK Jr., Tucker Carlson, Trump, Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene do not want to send Americans to never-ending military conflict or counterinsurgency conflicts, wars, and um, quagmires. This is why, this is the main reason I've, I've always said I'm voting for Donald Trump, or this is the main reason I'm voting for him, and I voted for him uh, in, in 2020. That's the, main, that's the main difference between him and the average Republican. The difference between um, Liz Cheney or the other congressman, I don't know why I forgot his name at this moment, the one who cares so much about January but doesn't care about that entire summer full of billions of dollars in property damage, okay? The main difference between a never-Trump Republican and somebody like Tucker Carlson or Trump or Matt Gates or Marjorie Taylor Greene or JFK Jr., who ran once as a Democrat, now he's independent, or the great Tulsi Gabbard, who's fantastic. The main difference is that Trump does not want to send Americans off to never-ending military conflict. A Democrat like Joe Biden would, in a moment's notice, if he was told to by intelligence officials. And that's the difference. Because if you look at Liz Cheney or other never Trump Republicans, according to uh, 538's tracking Congress in the age of Trump, they voted alongside Trump 90 plus percent of the time. Okay, 90 plus percent of the time they voted for Trump. The difference being. The difference being that Trump on foreign policy is less militant. Okay, this is a Republican. Trump is a new breed of Republican. If you want to say populist, whatever you want to, whatever you want to, however you want to describe him, he's not the Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld Republicans. And when people say, well, Nikki Haley is good, Trump is infinitely better. It, it would take one month of negative media coverage to completely obliterate any campaign associated with Nikki Haley or Chris Crispy. Could you imagine if Chris Crispy was was the uh, GOP nominee? Republicans would lose by 20 million votes. Okay, could you imagine if Mitt, Mitt Romney was? There's zero electricity. There's zero... People don't... People are tired of lifelong politicians who will just say anything for positive media coverage. So Trump needs somebody who does not care about negative media coverage. He can't have anyone like Mike Pence who tries to sit on the fence and, you know, is like an intermediary or a peacemaker between the never Trumpers and Trump. He has to get somebody like Tucker. These are people who Trump, Tucker Carlson, these are people who don't need media. Okay. And there are a few people in Hollywood who are just absolutely fantastic who don't need media. But most of Hollywood, most of, you know, most people in Congress need media. 
Trump is not beholden to media, and neither is Tucker Carlson. I think he would be a fantastic pick. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now.